hello, hello everyone. Welcome back to the channel. Miss Crochet and Coffee here. And today we're back with a post review of Moonlight by Craft Ease. Now, this canvas did take me a little bit to complete. As you guys know, I was sick, so I had to delay things a little bit because when you don't feel good, you don't feel like sitting up the diamond paint either. So with that said, we are done. And as you can see, here are all the diamonds that I had left. Plenty of drills left over, didn't run out of any, didn't get scared of running out of any of the colors, and the drill quality was top notch. There was a little bit of trash as usual in the 310s, but again, that is to be expected because it's such a mass produced color. Other than that, every other drill was perfect. The drill quality is some of the best drill quality I've worked with in a while. So I really, really, really love the drill quality. I was very, very, excited to work with these jellies because I've never worked with those before. So when I had the chance to work with them, I was super excited. But like I said, as you can see, I didn't run out of any color. So now we're gonna turn this over and show you what the kit looks like. I hope you're all having a wonderful, wonderful day. It feels great to finish a kit, but then I kind of feel like my life is over and I don't know what the meaning of life is anymore because I don't have a kit to work on. But by the time you see this, I'll be working on another kit. So let's see what this kit turned out to look like. All right, so there you have it. A lot of 310 and a couple of colors there in the middle for the light bulb. And I will have editing Leisha put up a picture of what it looks like when it glows in the dark. Now, the jellies are what glue in the dark. So the jelly part of this kit, the purple, the white, the blue, the yellow, and the white over here. And then of course, the outline of the light bulb. This kit is amazing. It was amazing to work on. The only issue I really had working on this kit was that it was hard to see the blank spaces. So like for the white, um, because if you look at the symbol, it's a blank symbol. So the white was a blank symbol, the yellow was a blank symbol, and then the blue was a blank symbol. The blue, I didn't have any trouble seeing the symbols on, but the yellow and the white, because they're such a light color, it was hard to make sure that I had my drills in the right spot. Um, just because it was hard to see the guidelines. Now, I'm pretty sure I got them all in the right spot. If I did it, they're shifted just a little bit. But other than that, the kit was an absolute joy to work on. I've never really had an issue working on Craft Ease's kits before. I think the first kit I worked on, I thought I ran out of a color and then I ended up finding the color like a week later that was like stuffed down the side of the couch. It's what happens when you work in small spaces. But this time I didn't have any issues besides it was hard to see those or, or those two colors whenever I was placing my drills down. Other than that, I didn't have any issues. And as you can tell, it turned out amazing. So if this is a kit that you were interested in, I would highly recommend. Crafties has some of the best kits I've worked on since being in diamond painting. And I, I, I do truly think that they are a good company. So if you are interested in any of the kits over at Crafties, I would say go ahead and give them a shot. I would like to thank Crafties for sending this out to me. Do keep in mind that all thoughts and opinions are my own. Even though it was sent for PR, it's only sent for PR to show you. I didn't have to complete it, but it's such a small little kit and I wanted something small after completing where fun never ends. So it was a great little kit to work on after that. And I think I did a colorful lady too. I finished her up too. So we have another finish, and like I said, it turned out great. So let me know what your thoughts are of this kit down in the comment section. The great, the, the best thing about this right now is I don't have to kit down. <laughs> Those baggies are getting thrown in a box. Look, I have no organization when it comes to storing my drills afterwards. I literally throw them in baggies and throw them in a box. The best thing about this is, so you see how it has on here. Let me bring it down a little bit. You see how it has on here K. Now what I'm gonna do, and there's the <laughs> there's the DMC number for some reason. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the sticker off, if I can. And they're easy peel stickers, so they should come off nice and clean. And then what you do, we're gonna do the, the Pippa trick. Pippa showed me how to do this in one of her videos. You snap it to open it. Works every time. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna take this sticker Stick it on the inside of the bag, which I should have did that from the beginning, but you know, I'm slow. Stick it on the inside of the bag, boom. 
my bag is labeled. I know exactly what DMC number that is. And when I go to store this away, if I start to look for that number, it's right there. So this way, if one of those stickers do, does happen, do, do's happen, does happen to come off, I know where it is because it'll fall right into the bag. So that is my suggestion if you're going to store your stuff in baggies, which I don't, and the other question I get is how many diamonds should you have extra? I don't know. Um, I usually just keep them all. And then when I see somebody that's looking for drills, I send it to them because I don't need all the extra drills. But if you're storing in baggies, that's what I would recommend. I would recommend either writing on the inside of the bag or taking the sticker off the bag, sticking it on the inside. That way, if it does fall off from like loss of tackiness, the sticker will fall into the bag. So you still know what drill number that is. Now, these jellies, I will probably store somewhere separately, like down here in this craft room, because I've never worked with them before, and they were really cool to work with. Like, I don't know if I can show you here. So you see some dark spots, like this here, and then you see some light spots on here. The dark spots, I'm not sure why that happened or why some of them are dark and why some of them are light, but I thought it was really cool when I went to go place the drills down, how when it touched the kit, it turned into like a darker drill. And I'm not sure why they use purple, but you know what? I'm here for it. It's, it's a bright, beautiful color. The AB for this kit is right here, this pink AB here. And then we have rhinestones outlining the, the highlight over here. And then we have some more rhinestones over here. We have a couple more ABs right here. Down at the bottom, we have the blue rhinestone, which is really cool because it kind of gives off a silvery blue effect, which is what it kind of looks like for the real light bulb. But yeah, um, I really liked working with the jellies. I think it has a cool effect with the rhinestones, the jellies, the ABs, and all the cool things like the glow in the dark drills. And when it glows in the dark, it's really, really freaking cool. So with that said, I think I might get another one of these glow in the dark kits. <laughs> We'll have to wait and see. But with that said, folks, I got to get out of here. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any other questions, comments, or concerns, please leave those down in the comment section below, and I'll do my best to answer them to the best of my ability. But for now, I must now bid you adieu. But not before reminding you that it's hard out here in these crafty streets. Please stay safe. Remember, sorry, I'm getting tongue-tied. Remember, wear your mask, wash your hands, don't touch your face out in public, keep your six feet, and always try. Be kind. Be courteous. Be cool. Bye, guys.